Hello and welcome all to this YouTube session. This is Atul from Edureka and in today's session we'll be dealing with sentiment analysis using Python. Like you all know, the success of a company or product directly depends on its customer, right? So if the customer likes your product, it's your success. If not, then you certainly need to improvise it by making some changes in it. So how will you know whether your product is successful or not? Well, for that, you need to analyze your customers. And one of the attributes of analyzing your customer is to analyze the sentiment of them. And this is where the sentiment analysis comes into picture. So starting with what is sentiment analysis? Well, you can define sentiment analysis as a process of computationally identifying and categorizing opinions from a piece of text and determine whether the writer's attitude towards a particular topic or the product is positive, negative or neutral. Well, it might be possible that as an individual every time you don't perform a sentiment analysis, but you do look for a feedback, right? Like before purchasing a product, you generally look for a feedback like what the other customers have to say about that particular product, whether it is good or bad, right? And you analyze it manually by looking at their feedbacks. Now just consider at the company level. So how will the company analyze what the customers is thinking about their product? They don't have just one or two customers, right? They have more than millions of customers. So what they will do? So this is where the company needs to perform sentiment analysis to know whether the product is actually doing good in the market or not. Okay, fine. So now that you know what exactly sentiment analysis, let's move on and see how does it actually work. So let's take the statement as an example. The movie was great. So the very first step would be the step of tokenization. So what exactly is tokenization? Tokenization is nothing but dividing your para into a different set of statements or dividing a statement into different set of words. So the statement the movie was great would be further segregated into its different words. So once the process of tokenization is done, so the second step would be cleaning the data. So by cleaning the data, I mean to remove all these special characters or any other word which do not add any value to the analytics part. Okay, so as in step two, I'd be removing the special characters. So I don't need this exclamation mark over here. So I'm left with four words the movie was and great. So next step would be removing the stop words. Like I said, I do not need any word which do not add any value to the analytics result. So the stop words like the was is he she do not add much value to the analytics part so we can easily remove them. So now we are just left with two words movie and great. Okay, now step four is the classification step. So now that you are left with just two words what your task will be your task will be to classify them as whether it is a positive word or a negative word or a neutral word for a positive word. We give a sentiment score as plus one. For a negative, we give a minus one score, and for a neutral, we give zero. Now, this is the part where machine learning comes. You can model your data with bag of words, or you can use lexicons, which are nothing but a dictionary of pre classified set of words. And now, once the model is trained, you can perform the test on the analysis statement. And more the accuracy score, better will be the classification, right? If your model is too accurate, then yes, it will be a very good classification. So till now what we have done we have classified our words as positive and negative the sentiment score of movie is zero as it's a neutral word and great is a plus one according to dictionary. It's a positive word even you know that it's a positive word, right? So let's move on ahead and calculate the final sentiment score of the sentence now since we have just two words over here which add some values to the analytics part. So on combining the statement you can say that we have one plus zero that equals one. So now you can say that since the polarity is greater than zero. So the statement is positive. Well for a beginner level you can say that this was a step by step calculation for sentiment analysis. Don't worry when you are using Python. It's more simple than you can think. Let me show you how simple is it to perform sentiment analysis in Python. So for the quick start we will be using text blob which is a Python library for processing textual data. It will allow you to perform common NLP tasks such as parts of speech tagging, noun phrase extraction, sentiment analysis, classification, and many other things. Okay. So let's start by importing text blob and calculate the polarity of each statement and determine whether the statement is positive, negative, or neutral. All right. Well, by the time it's executing, let's define our parameters or define our feedback. Let's suppose our first feedback was feedback one equals the food at Radisson was awesome. Okay, and my next feedback is the food at Radisson was very good. 
All right. Well, uh, as you can see, here, both seem to be almost a positive statement, right? But let's check how positive they are. All right. Sentiment analysis is all about checking how positive or how negative a statement is. Okay. So let's define our blob. So my blob one will be blob of first feedback. All right. And my blob two will be text blob of feedback two. All right. So now all you need to do is print your sentiment report. All right. So your sentiment report will consist of the measure of polarity as well as subjectivity. Well, you can just uh, keep it to polarity or subjectivity as well. But for this video, I'll be focusing on both the polarity measure as well as the subjectivity measure. So let's print a sentiment report blob dot sentiments. So blob one dot sentiment and print and print blob two dot sentiment. Let's see what's the result. All right. So our sentiment report is ready for statement one. The polarity is 1.0. It's highly positive statement. Whereas the subjectivity, it's also 1.0. And for statement two, you can see that the polarity is 0.9 and its subjectivity is 0.78. This polarity measure will tell you how positive your statement is or how negative your statement is. And this subjectivity, it expresses about personal feelings, views, or beliefs. So let's take an example like a subjective sentence. So subjective expression comes in many forms example opinion allegation desires beliefs suspicions and speculation a subjective sentence may not express any sentiment. All right. For example, I think that he went home and I want a camera that can take good photos. These are all just subjective sentence. They do not express any sentiment, right? So well, this was a very basic example. So in my next video, I'll show you how you can fetch data from Twitter and apply sentiment analysis on your tweet using text blob and tweepy. So thank you all. This was all for this session and don't forget to watch my next video on Twitter sentiment analysis in Python using tweepy and text blob. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed listening to this video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries and we will reply them at the earliest. Do look out for more videos in our playlist and subscribe to Edureka channel to learn more. Happy learning!